And good morning, hockey fans in Newfoundland and Labrador, across Canada and around the world via the internet. We welcome you inside the Windsor Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor this morning for game number three of the Newfoundland and Labrador Under-18 Major Hockey League weekend between the Central Impact and the East Coast Blizzard. Let's come up inside of our broadcast location. Hi, everybody. My name is George Scott. This is Robert Golding, and this is the rubber match in a big game, particularly for the Impact if they want to keep the blizzard within reach uh, it certainly is george anytime that you get a three game set you'd like to win two or three particularly if you're at home i mean right now i mean uh, the blizzard have got to be quite confident and happy where that they are they've got an opportunity to win two on the roll which is always a a, a bonus however given the standings and the, uh, the little bit of gap that there may be this is a very important game today for the for the impact no doubt yeah win today and the blizzard move 10 points ahead of the impact and by, in all probability, they're not going to catch them. If, if the Impact can win, however, it's a six-point difference, and the Impact with three games in hand. And, of course, the Tripan Osprey also right in that mix, just two points behind the Blizzard right now, uh, sitting six points ahead of the Impact. So there's still some wiggle room in the, that second and third spot, but uh, I think the Impact had to win today in order to, to stay in that hunt. Yeah, and, and I like what they've done the last two games, George. I, I like their puck movement, and I, uh, I like their puck re retrieval. It's just that they spent too much time last night without the puck, and they were chasing the puck more often. And, that, you know, you, you can break it down, and that sounds simple. However, I really thought that the Blizzard last night, they, they used their D more effectively. They got them more involved in the offense and were able to move the puck up. It might not necessarily sh show on the score sheet all the time, but if you're getting your pucks from your D to your forwards in movement, or in flight, as we like to say, motion. It's tough to defend against, especially in the neutral zone. Yeah, I thought it was uh, two good games we saw Friday Definitely. night. And, and uh, again, last night, both games 3-1. 3-1 for the Impact on Friday. 3-1 for the Blizzard last night. But two well-played hockey games. And talking to a number of people around the arena, they uh, they said the same thing. They thought it was really good hockey. And I was talking to Jack Lee, of course, president of uh, Hockey Newfoundland Labrador, who's the, uh, I guess, manager of the, the Blizzard, certainly connected with the team. And he was very pleased with uh, what he saw to both teams in, in the uh, first two games. I have spoke to Jack now a couple of nights. Obviously, uh, his uh, two sons involved, Mike and Mark, uh, running or coaching the team. And he's the director of Hockey Ops. And we had said the same thing. Like, he's able to see a, a number of games out on the, uh, on the East Coast. And besides the Growlers really elevating themselves above everybody else, on any given weekend, most teams have a competitive chance to play. And that's all you can ask for each and every time you come in. We had two 3-1 games, George, and only 35 seconds left in the game last night when the when the third goal was scored to, yeah. to make it 3-1. Both goaltenders last night and on Friday night, really exceptional. Love the way they play the puck. I really like the way that the game is being officiated as well. The officials are letting the players play the game. I mean, even with a couple of hits here or there or maybe a little thing behind the play. But other than that, well officiated and a quick game, George. We were in two hours last night. And just over two the night before. Yeah, that's just always under, good. Under two hours last night. It went by very quickly. I mentioned starting goaltenders Josh Hillier, who played Friday night, backing goal for the Blizzard. And the same thing for the Impact. Uh, Mitchell Din, again, who played Friday, just gave up the one goal. He's back in net for the Impact. All right, we're just getting set now for the National Anthem, and then we will be underway.
All right, once again, we welcome you inside the Windsor Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor. Central Impact to host the East Coast Blizzard in the rubber match of their three-game series. Out on the East Coast in St. John's at the DF Burns Arena, the Pinnacle Growlers are hosting the Tripen Osprey this morning. Growlers won both of those games, game Friday night in overtime, and then last night four to nothing. So they've taken a real stranglehold on first place. Referee Danielle Mills comes to center. Set for the opening faceoff. And we are underway here at the Windsor Stadium. That was touched, I believe, by McGuire, so no icing. Back to get his brothers. Leaves it in the corner. Party's on it there. Plays it behind the goal. Small trying to chip it out in front. Gets it to Lambert. Lambert turning, can't get a shot away. Stays with it. Down for Small. Small having a look in behind the goal. Setting up back there in Gretzky's office. Back to the point. Shot comes in from Mulrooney. Goes wide. Roll pinched in from the left point. Kept it in. Hawkins. Quick pass out, Mulroney able to hold it in momentarily. Now McGuire will skate it out. He'll dump it in, and he'll go in to forecheck right away, the defenseman. As soon as he shot that, he put his head down and went into the corner. Trying to create a turnover. Comes back at the point. Garland's got it off the boards. That goes into the impact bench, and we'll get our first whistle of the game. Would like to see the goaltender come out and uh, stop that dumping. It really can take a lot of pressure off the... Off the D, George, but uh, a new look first line went out there that time, George, with uh, with Small, Lambert, and of course, we saw Party over on the left side. He was used a lot last night in a penalty killing role. I guess that the uh, the coaching staff really liked the way they skated, created some open ice, and gave an opportunity to get out on the offense early. Fine to bound, bound turning in the corner off the boards. Gets it out over the blue line. Cody had a little bit of trouble with it, had it taken away by Pinkson. Here's a two on one. Pinkson across. Sims with a shot, and that just. Went wide. Sims fanned on the second attempt. Pinkson behind the goal. Fed it out in front. Adams has it. Ethan Sims had the first goal last night for the impact. Had two or three other chances. And another great chance here early. Two beauties. Two beauty opportunities. Tucker will dump it in. Bound. Up to Adams. Pinkson will skate it out. Adam Pinkson. Gets it in over the blue line. Snapshot stopped by the defense. Bags holds it in at the blue line. Bags with a nice little move. Turning in the corner. Stays with it. Bags now forced here into the near corner. Back at the point. Bound. Plays it up along the boards. Buck goes high in the air. Bound knocks it down. Able to hold it in. Bound has got a teammate over to the right. That was Ryan Small. Couldn't get him the puck. Pinch that time by the defense, and Bound gets back to cover up for his defensive partner. Great pace to this one, Robert Early. It is. Ryan Small. Stopped up inside the blue line, had it knocked off a stick, cleared in the impact tag up. Garland had a little bit of trouble with it. Boone trying to pinch in. I noticed the impact defense early in this game all... Getting engaged down in the offensive end, the pinching in. Coming up and trying to stave that blue line, George, which is nice. It helps on the offense. There's a shot, save made by Din. His first of the game, back of the point. Marshall lets it go. Din's got that, no rebound this time. And, George, that's always a good play, especially the, the strong side forward to hold that blue line. The weak side, D, or excuse me, the strong side D. The weak side D has got to recognize that and filter back a little bit so you don't have that unfortunate two-on-one against. Face-off win for the impact. Quickly out. Here's Cash Corbett. Corbett. Corbett shoots. Scores. George, I had talked about Cash Corbett last night and today. Cash Corbett is a game changer and can be a game changer. And on that particular time, we just saw it. Great speed coming down the left side. Puts it underneath the, the D stick and makes a great goal. Highlight real goal, actually. Yeah, he had... Uh, Noah Harnett over on his right used him as a bit of a decoy. I thought he was going to pass and then yeah. turned and shot it back against the grain, beat the goaltender, and it is one to nothing. He possesses he great offensive upside, George, and uh, once he's uh, determined to get that puck and be grittier, he's going to be a very impactful player. Pardon the pun. <laughs> I never even tried Yeah, that. I know. We, that happens a lot with this impact team. 
having an impact, impact player, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, goal comes, 258, here they come again. Corbett again, he shot this time. It is stopped by Josh Hillier, no rebound. That's a good play, I like the way that the D closed in on him, and of course, Cass Corbett did what he should do, get it at the goaltender, make the goaltender make the save. So there's something I've noticed already, on three dumpings down behind the impact net, right where the Zamboni comes out, there's a little lump there, and the puck is jumping, and that's something to take note of as the game moves ahead. That shot goes over the top of the goal. Loveless backhands it out, knocked down by Rowe. Rowe turns quickly up ahead to Lambert. Lambert inside the blue line, will play it in behind the goal. Party back there, gets to it first, tried to play it out in front. It's played back in behind the goal. Loveless has it now along the boards. Knocked down by Pinkson for Party. Party trying to get around the defense. Party muscling his way in. Party with a shot from a sharp angle. Off the paddle of the goaltender stick and a little bit of an awkward save that time. The impact are doing a fantastic job down low, George. They're really having good puck support. Loveless working against Rowe. Rowe stays with him. Loveless still has it. Trying to get it out in front. Okay. Unable to. Now it comes back to the point. Cody with a shot. That was knocked down by Pinkson. Backhand. Rebound was there too. Couldn't get a stick on it. And the impact will bring it out. Lambert got to center, then dumps it in. Line change for the impact. There's Garland. Garland is tripped up, and no arm goes up, Robert. I really... I thought the arm went up. <laughs> I looked at both referees to see if someone was going to call that. Surprising that they didn't. I'll surprise as well. Klein hustling. That's got to be Now it's going to be a penalty. Two on O down low. Ben makes the save. Let's see. What are we going to get? That might be a penalty shot. Just tripping. It's being I think called. maybe because it was just before the blue line. I stand yeah, to be the player corrected. didn't quite have control of the puck. Yeah. He was, holding, he was racing after it. Klein was going for it. That one was a no-brainer to call. The other one was a little questionable. However, I think that Garland was certainly upended in the neutral zone. He had a good flight of speed going and was taken down. And uh, he went into the boards a little awkwardly, George. I watched him. He went to the bench. He was in some discomfort, but I think that he, uh, he'll be fine. Great skater. That comes out over the blue line. Just noticed uh, a number of the international students from Exploits Valley High yes. making an appearance here at the game. All the schools these days have international students, it seems, and there's a number from EBH from Italy. Yeah, I've had a couple Germany. of uh, visit as well. Uh, in my school, we've got, uh, we had eight students. Yeah, Botwood Collegiate has some as well. This was Lewisport Collegiate. Anyway, for some of them, getting their first taste of Ice. Of ice hockey. <laughs> and snow. Yeah. It, it's, uh, we woke up this morning to the white stuff on the ground here in Grand Falls, Windsor. Our first taste of that. Actually driving season. home last night wasn't pleasant. It was a little greasy last night. There's a shot wide open. Oh I don't want to say if I did, but then they score on the rebound. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's got to be one of the best saves I've ever seen. And the sad part about it, he made such a great save. It went to the side and... Neither one of us, D, were able to get there. It was just a wide open gaping net, and he gets the paddle and over. We're going to see it here, right? You're not going to see a better save. Just watch. This is wow. phenomenal. <laughs> and unfortunate for Mitchell full, Din. Full credit for the, the forward to stay with it because he had to be shocked when he first saw the save. And then, of course, Tucker stays with it and then puts it into the empty net. Wow. Power play goal, one nothing. Spectacular goal or scoring so far. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Excuse me, 1-1. One, one. I know you knew that. Well. <laughs> what a goal. And what a save, I guess, even. Spectacular. So we're tied at one and a power play goal by the Blizzard. Impact looking to respond. Boone. Blocked by Mitchell Moore. Boone plays it behind the goal. Pinkson's got it back there. Blizzard had a power play goal as, last night as well. well. That may be the best save we've seen in three seasons, wow. Robert. It was it's just one of those ones that uh, was nice to capture on video for sure. Sims with a head of steam in over the blue line. Scott Adams with him, shoots it. Save was made by Hillier, and it goes up and out of play. 
seemed like Hillier was a, uh, didn't really pick that puck up early enough, I thought, George. He, uh, it's a big, tall goaltender went down. I think it might have gone up off of his shoulder and the play was, you know, it was taken from pretty, pretty far out, you know, 40-footer. I really like the speed of the game thus far. I really like it. Yeah, Hillier's the tallest player on the ice, the goaltender. Yeah, and if he's, if he's... I don't have the stats. I'm just looking at them compared well, to everybody else. If he's taller than brothers. He's tall. There's Loveless trying to break in. Does. Din stayed with him. Cross. Good pass. Shot. Ring it off the crossbar. Fantastic pass. Fantastic shot. That was Loveless with the chance. Loveless had himself a good game last night as well. We are being treated to a dandy here this morning. Mulrooney to Bags. He stopped at the blue line. Tool goes back to get it. So that was an old chip down. I thought, again, I checked with the referees. Yeah, it's, uh, and uh, the bench has given it to the official as he's coming by here now. And uh, yeah, like Ryan Small definitely put his There's no stick question. between the feet of the Blizzard player. Hawkins almost picked that off. Dangerous spot. Cleared down the ice. This will be an icing call against the impact. Pace of the game, George, is fantastic. Really, both teams are able to go D to D and get pucks up to their forwards. And if you're a, a forward sitting in the neutral zone trying to defend against it, you can't do that. you got to get in a little earlier and use angles. If you're stood flat-footed, you're just going to watch people go by you. It's put in wide of the goal. Tucker in there first for the blizzard. Bokey's knocked off the puck, comes back here to the right point to Cody. Tucker in the slot, Tucker with a shot, is blocked, it came right back to him, he couldn't pull the trigger a second time, and then it is cleared. King turns, fires it back in. Bound, behind the goal, to Klein, to Cash Corbett. Corbett's got the goal for the impact. The Veneeran pass picked off and shot right back in again by the Blizzard. Flying to leave it behind the goal. Two bound. It's a good reverse. To Pinson. Knocked off his stick. Vokey will clear it in. Vokey will get to it first. And a big hit by Carter. Bound in the corner. Finishes his checks all the time. Klein. Whoops. Into the middle, it's picked off, and Bound will bring it out. Bound drops it back. He was poke check. Klein, got to be careful here. He's all alone. Gets it in over the blue line. Impact will get a change in. Tucker working against Klein. Albert comes over to chip the puck away. Klein's got it back behind his goal. Back to Mark Albert. Albert up through the middle was looking for Small. That was intercepted by Kelly. Kelly gets it in over the blue line, but it'll be offside. We've got 10.46 to go here in the first period. 1-1 tie. Nice pace going here. Really like the way that uh, both teams are getting in on the four check. The first three or four minutes of the game, the impact came out and had some great opportunities and some good puck possession in the zone. And now the Blizzard have come back and equaled it. McGuire. Shot in wide of the goal. Kelly gets to it along the boards. He's hit right away. Puck squirts loose out into the middle. Comes here to the right boards. McGuire will send it down in deep. Kelly's there. Tried to get it out in front. Hit the side of the goal. Comes back to Kelly. Impact. Get it out. Following up on it is Lambert. Lambert to the blue line. No further. Power. Off the skate of Kelly. And the impact will clear it out. McGuire will bring it in. Can't touch it. Kelly was trapped in over the blue line. Here's Small. Two on one shaping up. Small. Lost the handle. Now tries to recover. And it's taken away by Noble. A bit of a two on one. But the defense got back and bothered Small just enough to make him lose control of the puck. Pass a little bit ahead of Mitchell Moore. Just tipped out into center. Cross to Marshall. Flips it in. 
checked in, has to be careful with that. Now uh, J.C. Tremblay for going back. Wow. That little dump in, a little bouncing puck on the goaltender. George, I, I, I like to go back just, you know, 30 seconds before with the delayed offside or the potential delayed offside. I've always told my players, touch the puck. If it's an offside, it'll never hurt you. However, you let it go with two guys trapped. It resulted in a two-on-one. And, of course, only because the D-man got back, it could have been a real good scoring opportunity for the impact. Yeah, a face-off is better than giving up possession. Hey? Well, you've got to be aware of what's going on. He had two players trapped inside. They were coming back, but it's a long way to go. Rowe backhands it in. And Rowe's going to go down and set up in front of the goal. From his defensive position, now he will retreat. And just in time as the Blizzard bring it out. Adams gets to it first. Blizzard are changing. So no for a dangerous pass right in front to Mulrooney. He had a lot of open ice and elected to go into the middle. So there was no forecheck there at all as the Blizzard were changing. And the one guy who was in the vicinity almost put the puck on his stick. There's a pass out in front. Shot goes wide. Cody's got it back at the point. That one's on goal. The rebound is there. Loveless has to look around. Glove save made by Din. Loveless with another chance, and now Rowe has it. Again, kept in by the Blizzard. Rowe with it. Off the glass this time. He'll get it out. Blizzard send it back in. Mulrooney. Long stretch pass. Trying to get to it was Russell Pinkson. Just gets to it in time to negate the icing. That pass was a foot shorter. Pinkson was in all alone. Blocker save made by Din. Garland's got it back here at the point. Garland puts it towards the goal. Hits a couple of people in front. And trying to get away is Bound. Good rushing defenseman. Bound. Strong skater. Down into the corner. Cody was on him. They'll get it back to the point for Klein. Klein with a shot. One off a stick. And it'll go out of play. In behind the Blizzard goaltender, Josh Hillier. Blizzard were also complaining, George, on the uh, potential icing. It looked like uh, the impact player was going to get to the puck before the goal line. I'm not quite sure if he did or not, but uh, it would have been a questionable call, to say the least. Yeah, to be honest, when I saw it, I didn't think he got there. No. Bound shot, kicked away by that, Hillier. That being said, I'm trying to look down there. I don't know if I can see the goal line. <laughs> Even with those new laser eyes of yours? It's faded. Oh, okay. The line, that is. Oh, I thought you meant your eyes. That, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Din comes out to play this one. Didn't get a lot on it, though, and the Blizzard come up with it. Get it out in front, and it'll be taken away. Ryan Small. To Cash Corbett. Corbett. Blew a tire as he got to the blue line. Nice slide in the second base. He's climbing with a chance. Climbing with a shot just over the top of the goal. Klein's been involved a lot offensively in these three games, George. That pass too far for Corbett. This one will be icing. We'll come back down to our right. We're down to 6.23 to go here in the first period. This 1-1 tie between the impact and the blizzard. Really good speed there coming out of the right side. Tried to catch him with one of these long passes just out of reach. Lambert, he's got Purdy in front. Taken away by the Blizzard. Noble, looking for Kelly. It's offside. That will be offside, good call. Really like the way that both teams are stretching the ice, George. Just forcing the D to really be aware. And I've always told my D-man, even in the offensive zone, if you have possession of puck, you've got to have your head on a swivel. If not, you're going to be watching pucks go by. And we just saw that then as the D-man and the blizzard got caught looking the wrong way. Off the boards and out. Cross retreating back to his own blue line. Up through the middle. Pass went between the feet of Power. Party gets to it. Shoots it in. Party. 
Determination gets there first for the impact. It's kicked into the corner. Noble gave it away. Boone will play it into the far corner. Marshall reverses it to cross. A little bit too far for him. Lambert got a stick on it. Party working on the boards. There's power. Kelly's in front all alone. Kelly got a stick on it and a save made by Din. I think it went off his head. Yep, that caught him right in the bucket. And Pinkson trying to get around the outside of Cody. The referee has to get out of the way. Cody and Pinkson both go down. Love the way Cody closed the gap there and finished his check twice. Mulrooney couldn't get to it. Keep it in. He'll go back into his own end. Ryan Small hops off the bench for the impact. Sims in on the four check. Had it taken away. And cleared out by the blizzard down the ice. Rowe hustling back to get it. No icing. To Mulrooney. He couldn't handle it. Fisher played it out to the front of the goal. Wicks back at the point. Garland back to Wicks. Wicks working off the half wall. Good pass back to Cody. Shot. Save made by Din. Rowe able to backhand it out. That's all he needed to do then. Relieve a little bit of pressure. We'll go right back in again. Just over four minutes to go here in the first. Sims all alone on the rush. One on three as the impactor changing. And Sims flips it in and then he gets flipped himself. George, the Blizzard been finishing all of their checks. Even when the puck has gotten rid of, they're finishing their checks. Garland did exactly that then. Here's McGuire on the right side into the middle. Impact got back, broke that up. Got to move it though. Stolen by McGuire. Bags knocks him down. Loveless. Probably got away with a little... Stick to the midsection, maybe. However, good battle. It's going to be a high stick. Well, touch first by the Blizzard, though, so play continues. Quick pass. Didn't connect. Mulrooney has it. Russell Pinkson got a stick on it, cleared it in. McGuire back to get it. Two brothers quickly up ahead, just a little bit out of the reach of Tool. Great reverse play to relieve pressure, though, from D to D to come back to Brothers and then an exit to the right side. It was good pass. Banks couldn't quite catch up to it. Running out of gas, he heads to the bench. Loveless down in the corner. Back at the point. Marshall, Marshall with a shot. That was deflected, went just wide. Comes out in front into the paint and then cleared away. Will there be enough snow to hold this? No, there will not. This will be an icing call against the impact. We're down to 2.32 to go in the opening period. And great transition hockey as they go back and forth here in this opening Sansa. That one just got down the ice. It reminded me of uh, Brad Gushu in his last rock last week. And, of course, uh, <laughs> congratulations to Brad Gushu and his Team Newfoundland rink to represent Canada again at the Olympics in 2022. Back to Beijing, China. Yes. The Summer Olympics were held there a few years ago. They'll host the winter. Again, that delayed offside. Blizzard have it now as they tagged up, went in, retrieved the puck. There's no one pressuring the puck here for the impact at all now, George. Cross looking for the deflection as Tool was cruising through the slot. Loveless now gets away on the left side. Loveless just avoids a hit from Corbett. Corbett had nasty intentions with that, but Loveless sidestepped him. Bound turns it over just outside the blue line. Brought back in by Tucker. Corbett down deep in the corner. Threw it in front. That just missed. Parody was looking for the deflection. 
Boone holds it in. The shot uh, just a little wide. Party chips it. It goes up and out of play, and the faceoff will come outside the blue line. Just outside, a minute to go here in the first period. A minute four to go. Pace is... Uh, Slowed down a little bit in the last couple of minutes. However, the first 12 minutes of the game were just viewers back and forth for both teams, trading a lot of barbs and great goaltending and nice passing. And Lambert with a nice move. Gets himself free. A shot off the stick goes out of play. This face off will stay in the blizzard end. It's good individual skill there to create something out of nothing. Defender was on him, put the puck back between his legs, got a shot away. Any shot, particularly in the last minute of any period, is always good. Right from the face off, the shot goes wide. Boone following up on it, he gets hit and the puck comes out. Parity chips it in. McGuire, whoop, missed on the first pass but stays with it. Gets it to Voki. Voki to the blue line, no further. As players pile in just outside the impact bench, King comes up with it and Swings it over to the far corner. Good puck support there. Small swinging away. Small in over the blue line. Party was the trailer. Small out in front for Party. Great rush, great puck protection by Small. I tell you, Ryan Small has impressed me. Well, I like the way that George, he's going down on Brothers, arguably the tallest, biggest guy on the ice. He puts the puck to his outside. I mean, he's giving up a foot to Brothers, and he protected that puck. And not only did he do that, but he got a pass across, and it was a great opportunity for the weak side forward to get a shot away, and the goaltender had to come up with a nice glove save. As the puck is cleared out, the buzzer goes to end what was a very good first period here on a Sunday morning. Two teams you think might be a little tired after playing back-to-back yeah. -back <laughs> games Friday and Saturday, but they no sign of it this morning. No, and I mean, this is an early morning start, 10 o'clock. And, uh, of course, if it was a, a regular day, you'd be in school for an hour by this time, so. <laughs> no excuse. No. Now, they may miss school tomorrow morning. <laughs> anyway, we will uh, take a break. We are at the... Uh, the first intermission here, we are tied 1-1 between the Central Impact and the East Coast Blizzard. You're watching Newfoundland and Labrador under 18. Major Hockey League action live from the Windsor Stadium here on Atlantic Online TV. Back in a few minutes.
One one tie as we get ready to start the second period between the Impact and the Blizzard. Very quick first 20 minutes. We'll see what the second period brings. As we mentioned earlier, these two teams split their two games Friday and Saturday night. Impact winning 3 to 1 Friday, the Blizzard with a same score, 3 to 1 in their favor Saturday night. So this is the rubber match. Yeah, and it's a uh, it's been well played hockey, George. Even when we three weeks ago, when the Western Kings were here, and we watched those games, and did them, uh, I, I really like the the brand of hockey, and uh, it's entertaining to say the least. I mean, you get a couple of couple of games that we had there three weeks ago, and now these two that we've had Friday and Saturday going into today, and I just happened to bang into uh, Craig Tucker, executive director of Hockey NL, and uh, we we're seeing the very same things. He said he's only seen a couple of games a year, but uh, from what he has seen. Uh, Really, really good entertaining brand of hockey. Yeah, this weekend in particular, the weekend against the Kings was exciting. <laughs> a lot of goals scored, yeah. but this is, you know, this, we're seeing, let's be honest, this is a little better when you have a 12-10 game. It's, it's exciting, but it's you know, not great hockey. Obviously, a lot of guys making mistakes. Well, it, it, it's not great from a coaching perspective. From <laughs> a fan's perspective, they like lots of goals. Yeah. But it's been a it's been a really well played two games thus far and uh, seven periods actually it's been really good. Absolutely, let's see what happens now here in the second period of this third game. It's dumped in right to Dan. He'll not take any chances and he'll hold on to it. Out in St. John's, by the way, no update from the Growlers and the Tripen. That game is the 11 o'clock start, so they're an, an hour behind. Hasn't started yet. And the thing is, here in Central Newfoundland, we're we're not blessed with lots of hockey anymore. I mean. Uh, so it's good when you are able to see some of these teams come in from away. If you're on the East Coast, there's uh, lots of hockey to watch. Actually, a fairly busy weekend. This weekend, those things yep. getting going with the impact at home and also the uh, is it the Central Blades. Central or, Blades, yeah. Play the Intermediate League. Uh, they started. They're playing the league this weekend. Two games down at the Joe Byrne last night. They're going to play again this afternoon. So if you're in the Grand Falls, Windsor area, and you're hungry for a little more hockey, I think 1 o'clock start, the uh, the Blades are playing the uh, Lewisport Seahawks. Yes, and that's always a good bit of fun. Blades won their opener last night. And next weekend, we'll be back with the Central Impact. They'll take on the first place, Pinnacle Growlers. And it'll be the same thing Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see that team. They're a, uh, obviously a very, very powerful team. Yeah, it'll be our first look at them this season. A chance for the impact early. A Pinkston shot went wide. It's dumped in. They've got to tag up. Pinkston does. Garland back in his own end. He'll drop it back. And Pinkston heads to the bench. That pass a little bit too far. And down the ice it goes for an icing call. A bit of a slow start here to the second period, other than that one scoring chance by Pinkson just a moment ago. Yeah, and with fresh ice here now as well, George, just a minute and a half in. You're not going to get the puck on the stick. It's going to go for icing quite often. Need to get players coming off of the boards. Sometimes it's it's not good enough to stay wide. Wide is a nice, nice feature, but you got to come back to the middle of the rink to receive those passes. Face-off win. Joey Green's got it. Green snaps it. That... Change direction as it hit Harnett in front. Yeah, I think he hit Harnett. I don't even think he was aware of it. Blizzard bring it out. Noble. Tried to cut it inside. Poked away from him by Green. Green's got it. Plays it around the other side. Pinson trying to get to it. It's kept in. Boone to Green. Pass up at the blue line is tipped up into the air. Cross gets it to settle down. Gets the pass to Kelly. Kelly will bring it in over the blue line. Quick snapshot. Din was ready for that. Catches it and holds on. Kelly had three like that last night, George. He went down on the left-hand side. I can remember the latter part of the third period and uh, curled the puck brought back in and really quick release. And he did the same thing there. Goaltender must be aware. Fisher 
Stops up along the boards, back at the point for Marshall. Marshall snapshot right on goal, and then it's poked wide on the rebound. Marshall's got it again, again right on goal. Din makes the save. Marshall getting rid of the puck quickly over on those right boards. Couple of good shots. Mulrooney gets to center, clears it in. Marshall's back there, reverses it to Fisher. That's knocked down, and what a chance in front! Pinkson couldn't get a stick on it, rather on the second try. That rebound was there. It's a bad giveaway by the Blizzard. Don't see that too often. No, that was a result of good pressure down low. Two forwards coming in on the forecheck. Icing. Jess Pinkson just could not get the, uh, could not corral it far enough to be able to put it into the gaping empty net, but it was a good pressure down low. First four checker was able to take the D-man out of it, create a turnover, and get it towards the net. Harnett against Hawkins. Hawkins wins it. McGuire has it behind the goal. Up at the blue line, through the middle, back to Hawkins. Hawkins follows up on it down in the corner, gets it out to Loveless, knocked off his stick by Party. McGuire, Brothers, just fed it in front, it changed direction, and Din able to get the left leg out, keep it out, and again, it'll be an icing call against the impact. Boy, the Blizzard point men are doing a great job of getting shots through low, right on goal. Yeah, and uh, you look at Brothers, even from our angle here, George, we could see it, he had a little bit of a room underneath the defender's stick, Got it there. Not even trying to shoot at her. He's just trying to get it into space, and he certainly did a great job of that. Goaltender had to make a tremendous bad save. Matt Klein. Too good. Good pass. pass. Sims. It's got to be a penalty shot, I think. Sims had his stick lifted. Play continuing on. Now it's touched up. Let's see. What's the call going to be? I think the officials. Nope. Just tripping, Robert. Ooh. I'm 0 for 2. <laughs> but, George, I really liked uh, the two-pass outlet. Really liked the way Klein came over, gave his D-man an opportunity, presented him in a p with a passing option, and then Klein, who can really pass the puck as good as anybody, hits, pink, come in full motion right on the red line, and a great breakaway opportunity. Defender had no other choice but to put the hook in. Yeah, if you're keeping score at home, it's a hooking penalty, not tripping. But not a penalty shot. No, I think Danielle may have did the tripping sign, but either way, it's two minutes. Sims with Pinkson. And behind the goal, had it taken away by Garland. Garland hired off the boards, can't get it out. Kept in by Mulrooney. Sims right through the crease. Went off the stick of Brothers and went wide. Adams. Pinkson had a little trouble handling that. And the Blizzard will come up with the loose puck, send it the length of the ice. Blizzard change up all four penalty killers. King coming off the bench, intercepts that. Mulrooney, he's being pressured. Now they'll move it out. Pinkson to Small. Small had Harnett, or Adams cutting in front, couldn't get him the puck. Small's got it again. What a beautiful pass to Sims in a little bit deep. Couldn't quite handle it. Puck bounced on him. Small's looking at him the whole time. He had to go through sticks, and he goes with the little saucer pass. Just unfortunate that Sims had to go down a little deeper and wasn't able to get a good shot away. 52 seconds to go in the power play for the impact. Harnett wins the faceoff cleanly. Back to Klein. Over to Bound. Bound walks the line. Down into the corner for Corbett. He inbound switch. Bound gets the pass. Bound shoots it off the stick of King up and out of play. That's one you got to just be a little bit more patient with. Good puck rotation. I like the way that they come around top of the umbrella, but that one almost needs to go down to the left-hand side, create some space, because at that time, you're stood still. You're coming through the middle. You're not creating space. Noble against Harnett. Harnett wins the face off again. Cleanly back to bound. Great job on the draws. And to Corbett. Corbett 
Corbett gets himself in good shooting position. That changed direction. Went over the top of the goal, came out in front, and cleared away. There's the difference with creating space, George. You bring the players to you, opens up a little lane. 15 seconds to go in the man advantage. Good speed by Harnett. Threw it out in front. Lambert missed it. Klein pinching in. Five seconds to go in the power play. Corbett. That'll do it. Penalty's over. Corbett. Corbett. Tips it over to Klein. Klein with a good shot. That was accurate and a good save made They've been trying to by Hillier. Trying to feed Klein this whole shift. They just weren't able to get it to him. Hey, Matt Klein has shown something this week, and I haven't seen a whole lot before. That's a great shot, accurate, and he's got a lot on it. Yeah, George, he, uh, and he's, he's getting more confidence, he's getting more ice time, and he's put it in different roles now, George. One time before, he was out in defensive roles a lot. Now he's out in a little bit more offensive role and more expected of him, and he likes that. And he does possess a really good shot. A lot of last year, they moved him up to the forward line for a while as well, but strictly defensive. Yeah, and they were a little year. short, and they needed somebody up there as a big physical presence. They've soon realized that, you know, he's got a great shot from the D. Need to take advantage of it. Bags him behind the goal. King is on him. Defeated out in front. Pinson with a shot, or Pinkson, rather. Russell Pinkson. And another save made by Hillier. Good work down low that time by the impact. We get some good board battles going around here too, George. I like it. Gonna be offsetting yeah. penalties here on two guys. Well, Albert took a hit to the head. I don't know if it's gonna be offsetting or just the one. Okay, I think, just it's, the, uh, I think it's just to the blizzard. Albert, as he had gone in on the forecheck, had passed the puck off and took a, took a hit up high. Kelly doesn't like the call. Not many people ever do. Yeah, as a referee, whenever you make a call, 50% of the people on the ice disagree with you. <laughs> Rowe fed it in front. That was knocked down and cleared away. One and done on that effort. Whoops. Careful. Adams fell as he went into the corner. Got up quickly. Seems to be okay. It's an awkward fall. It was. But he's looking good here as he brings it in over the blue line. Then poke checked. And Wicks. Sends it out again. Bouncing puck right down to Din. He will leave it for Row. Impacts forwards were too high and stationary, George, on that outlet. Adams poke checked again as he got in over the blue line. Yeah, I think he's he said get out. Yeah, he's heading to the bench. I think he said he's had enough of this one. A bit of a rough shift. Pinks it to Corbett. Sims heading for the front of the goal. Corbett shot it and a save made by Hillier. And, George, there's nothing wrong with the long outlet pass. And we saw they tried to come all the way up, you know, from the goal line to the blue line for Pinkston. But if you're stood still, which you got to be when you're up that far, you got two D men there. They don't have to do a whole lot. Pinkston needs to come back around. We still go with that long pass, but to come back, get to the red line and do a curl and get it in motion, you'll beat, four, you'll beat many defenders. Just under a minute to go now in the power play. Shot by Mulrooney. Taken right in the chest by Hillier. No rebound. Another face-off win for the impact. Boone with a shot, and again, Hillier. Great rebound control. That was an, just a nice, good set play, George. Win it on the, on the soft side, get a D to D, and it's so effective to use your D-man, George, and the thing is, you go to most camps or any type of coaching clinics, and you'll see D to D, D to D. In an average NHL game, there's about 85 D to D passes. We're seeing a lot of them here today. It's great Oops. offensively, and it helps avoid a forecheck. There's an air and pass picked off by Tanner Hawkins. It's 
Russell Pinkson, number seven. Not much happening on this second power play unit for the impact. Now they're not having enough puck support on the weak boards, George. Mulroney, too small, small. Protects the puck, does it well. Back at the point, we get the return pass. Five seconds to go in the power play. They try and get it back to small, it trickles into the goaltender. Puck was loose for just a moment, then Hillier covered it up. One second to go in the power play. Impact weren't able to get it into the critical areas, George, between the dots. And when you're on a power play, you'd like to play in between the dots. You know, if you could spread it out, that's fine. And, of course, the, the opposite of that is that the, the Blizzard did a really good job of controlling between the dots and keeping the impact to the outside. As they drop the puck, the penalty expires. Bound able to hold it in. Marshall lost it. Comes back at the point. Klein holds it. Let's the defender go by and then shoots it wide of the goal. Loveless. Had it taken away. Nice play by Party. Great back pressure. He does it very well. He's a great defender. And it's stolen by Bags. Bags cutting inside, a shot save was made, rebound was there. Marshall clears it, Klein has it, back and behind the goal. Chipped up along the boards, Bound gets there first for the impact, they'll play it in behind the goal. Players fall in behind, oh, here and a penalty is coming up. That's gonna result in a penalty every time, George. You can't hit a player who's down and come down on top of them with your stick or your elbow on. That was an easy call. He knows it. And not only that, but uh, there's really a whole lot of nothing going on. I do love the way that the goaltender, though, George, big presence in the net for the blizzard, but he tracks the puck very well. You look at him going left to right or right to left, he really tracks the puck. He obviously is a, is a huge, huge man, but very agile at the same time. Evan Cross got into the penalty box for the blizzard, so back-to-back -back power plays for the impact. Sims wins the faceoff. They've done a good job of winning the draws here in the second period. They have. Pinson back to Adams, back to Pinkson rather. Adam Pinkson with a shot. Looking short side that ran along the dasher and all the way down the ice. Never a bad play to take a shot, but you gotta get a, gotta try to find a way to hit him. Here's a good pass, small. Yeah. Again, in behind the goal, he'll play it back at the point, bound back to small. Tried to make the long pass back to Adams. That's Almost a tough picked one. Off. They managed to keep it in. McGuire gets to it down in the corner. and That's a really, really ahead. tough pass to make, George. That one from corner to corner. Adams with a shot off a stick. Adam Pinkson has it. Pinkson back to Small back at the point now to Pinkson. Pinkson's in a good spot. One off of Brothers wide. Bound chips it. And that'll go off the glass up into the mesh and out of play. Did a good job of moving the puck and rotating it, George. And Pinkston, who likes to come over on the on the left hand excuse me, the right hand side being a left handed shooter, had two really good opportunities. One was just went a little high and wide, that one went off the shimp at. Face off removed outside the blue line. Pinkston won that one. Gets it to a roll. Roll mishandled it. And Ryan Small will come back to pick it up. To a roll. Nice return pass to Small. Small in the slot. Holds it. Got it to Pinkson. Shot. Rebound. Scores. Hillier just had a little juggle on it, George. But there's the difference of getting the puck to the middle of the rink. Most of everything else but to the outside. Really like the way you come over to lay on the blue line. Sorry. Go ahead, George. There's that return pass. Yeah, you just small. watch this little delay right here. Frees up a little space. Brings the defender back and see how we create a little space in the middle for Pinks to come through. Shot, and of course he makes the first save. Then it's the rebound, puts it in in the open net. But a little delay forces the D-man down a little lower and we see a little white ice, just enough to make a pass. So a power play goal for the impact. They lead it two to one.
Not sure what the delay is for here now, but so discussion down to our right between referee and one of the linesmen. You may have to do with the time. I don't know if some time ran off the clock or not, Robert. I wasn't looking at it at the time. No, me either. Right now it's showing 8.19 to go here in the second. 8.26, so 10 seconds did. Or six seconds. Anyway, that should make a difference. Nice job by the officials to spot that. McGuire or... Mitchell Moore with a chance to respond quickly and a big save made by Din. Wide open, created space there as well. Hillier will cover it up. Your town has a four. When that puck gets dumped in towards the goaltender, your only job is to keep going hard, force the goaltender to freeze that puck in, which he just did. Too many times forwards do what we call the roundabout. They get in and they, they just take a a shift and turn off and makes an easy play for the D-man. You don't need flybys. Corbett along the boards. Up against two Blizzard players. Pinsent. Behind the goal. Corbett was looking for it. Marshall gets there first for the Blizzard. Off the boards and out. Rowe gets it to Mulrooney. Back to Rowe. Good pass up for Corbett into the middle. Harnett drops it to Corbett. Corbett doesn't shoot it. Now feeds it in front, and that's picked off, and out come the blizzard, David Fisher. Fisher one-on-one -on -one against Mulrooney. Corbett getting back as well. Wicks coming in to trail the play, and the puck comes to Wicks. He had it taken away by Mulrooney. Mulrooney. Marshall had fallen down. Mulrooney scores. Great shot on George White. Was that resulted, George, when Rowe went in on a four check, he got a piece of Mitchell Moore. Mitchell Moore was really struggling to get to the bench, and he couldn't get there in time for them to get five, five blue out there. And because of that, Mulroney comes down the weak side. You just watch right here now. See the D-man is just getting off the ice, and George. There you see Marshall who trips. Fell. That allowed Mulroney to get around the outside. There's a lot going on there. But that was a result of Mitchell Moore getting hurt, George, and not being able to get to the bench on time. He really struggled. What a beautiful release by Mulrooney coming down on the weak side. Mulrooney makes it 3-1 to one for the impact. The coaching staff on the blizzard are, are all right at that missed call. McGuire, shot, that just goes wide. Brothers will pick it up here in the near boards. Brothers towards the goal. Went over the top of the goal. Hit the referee in the helmet. Got to keep the head up. Mitchell kicked that one away. Mitchell Din. Loveless. Back at the point. McGuire. Loveless. Fed it into the middle. Hawkins was looking for it. Brothers gets to it. And Din will reach out and hang on to that. Good rotation there, George. Two D-men able to get shots away. But at the same time, Impact getting in the shooting lanes. Just getting a stick on it. 6.15 to go here in the second period. A couple of goals by the impact have them up 3-1. to one. Party turned it over. Here's Kelly with a chance. Kelly snapshot off the shoulder of Din. Good release. Lambert trying to get away. Lambert with a shot save made by Hillier. Good chances both ends. Goaltenders having to come up big here now. Din takes one off the left shoulder and equal to the task down at the far end. We see Hillier with another good save. Cleared down the ice by the blizzard. Din watches it. Let's it go. Mark Albert. Hasn't seen a lot of ice time. Out there now for the impact. Garland knocked it down. 
Played it off the board. Small was looking for it. Couldn't get to it. Kelly swings it the other side for Noble. Powers in front. Noble takes it behind the goal and taken away by Bound. Good play by Carter Bound as he just outmuscled the Blizzard player behind the goal. Beautiful play by him. Used his body, got in position, took the puck and said, okay, thank you very much. I'll go on now. Small. Back at the point. Klein. Fanned on that one. It's a hard pass. King. Klein got back just enough to bother King a little bit. And then made the save. Blizzard stay on it. Puck is loose there in the circle. Party gets to it and Party gets it out. Down the ice. Will it be enough for icing? No, it will not. Marshall gets back there first. Into the skates of Vokey. Adams turning. Adams. He's got Pinkson with him. Adams tried to drop it back for Sims. He was covered. Yeah, he wasn't open there. The, the only pass if he was going to make it was to the right side or shoot it. Yeah, he had a great spot to shoot it from. He wanted to pass the whole time, and it was an easy defender. Din comes out to play it to Vokey. Vokey sends it right back in again. Mulrooney turns. Nice move. Marshall. For the Blizzard, into the middle to King. Dumped in behind the goal by Volke, came out to King, back at the point, Cody's got it. Over to Marshall. Marshall snapshot is blocked, and out comes Adam Pinkson. Need to create space by staying wide. To Sims, Sims getting around the outside, and poked away at the last second, a good play by Carter Cody. Good stick. Puck goes up in the air. Pinkson knocks it down. Keeps it on side. Still it's loose. Not out. Sims plays it down into the corner. Pinkson's knocked away from the puck. Vokey. He'll just get rid of it. Now that will be an icing call against the Blizzard. Marshall's a strong D for the Blizzard, George. He really puts his body into you and makes you pay the price on the boards. And he did exactly that. Little tighter checking here now, George, and we're seeing a little bit more body contact on the boards, and both these teams realize that, you know, it's a 3-1 game here, and uh, next goal is a pivotal goal for either team. Another face-off win for the impact. Much better in the circle tonight yeah. or this morning. Yeah, the offensive zone face-offs, they've been winning more than their fair share. Yeah, definitely. I thought last night the Blizzard were exceptional in the, uh, in the offensive zone face-offs. 3.15 to go here in the second period. Impact leading by two. Pinson in the corner. Corbett couldn't get to it. It's reversed. Hustling over. Boone can't hold it in. Good pass off the board. to Hernet back to Rowe. Back to Boone. Nice chip pass, but read by Brothers. Good stick by Brothers there, coming off to the left-hand side. McGuire will shoot it in. He'll go to the bench. Fisher. Harnett now has it for the impact. Good to see Mitchell Moore back out there. He was looking for Pinson, picked off by Garland. Hawkins leaves it for Fisher. Fisher shot, easy save made by Din. All you want as a, as a D-man there is to get it away, let the goaltender see it, Roll recognized it, just moved aside, and Din was able to make an easy glove save, get fresh troops out. Just two, 14 remaining here in the second period, an entertaining one for sure. Klein. Back for Bound. Now nowhere to go, so plays it off the glass, knocks it out. Knocked down by a high stick, but picked up by the Blizzard. Pinkson with another shot and a goal. A snipe there by Adam Pinkson. That's one that Hillier would like to have back, George. That's a quick release. Not a whole lot different than the, the one that Mulroney scored from. It's pretty much a similar area. This time, though, it's a left-handed shooter compared to a right. 
That's a big goal. Yeah, it was knocked down at the blue line, a high stick, but the impact got to it first, so play yep. continued. Let's take a look. You watch here. You see that right comes up right here. Little chip. Sims does a good job of allowing the player to come in. And just on the top of the circle, may have been a screen by the defenseman. Hard to tell from this angle, but either way, it eluded goaltender Hillier to the far side, and we're 4-1. Lizard are going to have to start taking some chances here now. Under two minutes to go here in the second. Marshall went off his stick. Small turns. Ryan Small. Snapshot. That just missed. Klein pinching in. Held it in. Puts it in towards the goal. Played off the boards by Hillier. Marshall has it. Up through the middle, knocked down there by Small, but taken away by Noble. Noble in over the blue line. Noble trying to get around the outside. Down stayed with him. Cross, mishandled it, chipped out. Racing onto it is Bags. Odd man rush here. Small, fed it for Pinkson, and Pinkson put it wide. It's going to be a four on one the other way if they don't hurry. <laughs> That shot wide. Player got hurt down behind the net, George. Not happened. I think he just made a... That was Luke Power. Tumble and a fall. After he took the shot, he went awkwardly into the boards. Seems to be okay. We had a three-on-one one way, and we had a four-on-two the other, and uh, River Pond hockey here now for sure. And the thing <laughs> is, is that it's only 50 seconds left in the period, and I think both teams will be content to go in 4-1. You don't want to give up another goal either way on either team now. Under a minute to play, 45 seconds to go here in the second. It's been a good one for the home side. They put up three goals. Well, really can't get it out. King keeps it in. Bokey has it taken away. Pinkson lifts it up and out. A safe play. Tucker brings it back in. Tucker behind the goal. Rowe cuts him off. Rowe did a great job there. I just used his body to Real safe lock player. out the player. It's a smart play. Only one second to go. Shot goes in wide. Period comes to an end. But as I said, a very good one for the central impact. They put up three and didn't allow one. They lead it four to one after 40 minutes of play. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Period number three with the impact leading it by three. You're watching Newfoundland and Labrador under 18 major hockey league action from the Windsor Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor on Atlantic Online TV. Back with period number three in a few minutes.
All right, teams are back out on the ice. We'll be underway with period number three in just a moment. Impact lead it four to one after 40 minutes of play. Teams were tied at one after 20 minutes. Three goals by the Impact in that second period have opened things up a little bit for the home side. Just checking to see if there's any uh, update on the game between the Growlers and Tripen out in St. John's. Nothing yet. The game got underway about a half an hour ago. It's the schedule too. Come the Blizzard. Wicks. Pass for Fisher. Tipped away by Mulrooney. Comes around here to the near boards. McGuire pinching in. Back to Mitchell Moore. He'll swing it around behind the goal. Fisher was looking for it. Mulrooney is in there. Wicks in there as well for the Blizzard. Four players in there. Pinkson in there for the impact. And the play continues along the boards. The referee giving them every opportunity to try and work it loose. It is stuck to the boards. Finally comes back to the point. That's a scrum. Oh, that's got to be a penalty there. Nothing called, Robert. It's a real surprise there. It's Bags. He stopped. And it's out at center. Well, Rooney turns, shoots it back in. Impact will get a change in. Kelly surrounded by impact players. Finally does get a stick on it and clears it in. Yeah, there's two parts of that broken stick. One down in the corner and one way up at the far blue line. It's at the far blue line because the player had thrown it down onto the ice and it pitched for it down the ice. Power to Kelly. Kelly with a shot. Scores! George, that's a play that you see happen quite often. We said last night and today he's got a great release, a great shot. He's coming through. It's a soft play coming through. Catches goaltender Ding going the other way. Great wrist shot, back corner. Wasn't a whole lot happening up until that moment. Here's the replay. It's a little turnover right here. Picks it up, just a nice little three foot pass. Watch as goaltender's tracking over and boom. Beautiful release, great shot. 4-2, great goal. That certainly makes things a little more interesting. Goal coming just a minute, 54 seconds into this third period. Watch Kelly take some shots last night, George, coming down on the weak side, and then a couple today, and that was a real good one. So Liam Kelly makes it a two-goal game. Albert off the boards. Lambert, a little slow in moving, and he gets tied up. And the Blizzard will come up with the loose puck. And they'll go into forecheck. Cody from the point shot well wide. Marshall holds it in, puts it high. Hits the dasher, comes down and around behind the goal. Fed out in front. Impact are on it. That pass off the mark. Jack Boone. To Canning. Canning couldn't control it. Shot right on goal. Save made by Din. And the rebound is put up and out of play. Turnovers again now for the impact. They had two easy exit passes, never made either one of them. Results back 45 seconds in their zone. Not something that you want to be doing this early in the third period. Got to find a way to get back, bring all troops down, a couple of good passes, and bring it back the other one. Of course, right now the Blizzard are just going to go really full out. Yeah, I said Canning. That was Albert Lincoln Canning not playing in today's game. Played last night for the impact. Garland. Tucker. We'll dump it in. We saw this Friday night. Robert from the impact. They led coming into the third period and sat back and allowed the Blizzard to get back into it. It was three to nothing heading into the third. 
Shot by Pinkson, never mind sitting back. Pinkson goes bar down for his second of the game. And George, that's the difference between turning pucks over and coming in with numbers and it's a three on two. And that's one of the very similar goals and you just watched the Blizzard score and they do on the hit impact as well. Soft play right here, turnover, retrieval, but more importantly, you look at the blue coming back late. Great shot under the bar, very similar to what we saw the Blizzard. Now we have the three goal lead established again for impact. Pinkson found himself in a, had a bit of ice, took advantage of it. Mitchell Moore knocked off the puck. Harnett hit the side of the goal as he tried to go behind and yeah, get away the, with it. Hit the back of the boards, comes straight back. Bags will shoot it in. Harnett gets to it first, but Mitchell Moore got a stick in the way of that. Uh, shot in, save made by Hillier. Big goal there for the impact as the Blizzard were coming on. They were coming on strong. So that settles the impact down a little bit, but here comes McGuire trying to make something happen. Smooth skating defenseman, backhand, save made by Din. Corbett had a chance to move, it turned it over, and a shot and a save by Din. Got to do a lot better job down low with that puck. The puck can't come out unless you've got it. You can't be moving the legs going one way and the puck is the other way. That's going to result in a scoring chance against. Blizzard had a quick release. Goaltender Din, good save. Yeah, power with the chance. Marshall with a shot. Din's got that. McLaughlin holds on. Right now, coaches on the impact have got to be really telling their players, you know, guys, we've got to be really strong on the puck. We can't take chances, and we've got to make sure. Blizzard got to be happy with the first four or five minutes, and I'm sure they're not happy with the goal, but they played well. Another turnover up at the blue line is the impact. Don't get it out. We'll take it back behind the goal. Green, good pass to Pinson. He'll go over on the other side looking for Adam Pinkson. Couldn't catch up to that one, and out comes Power. Power, poke check. Nice play by Joey Green. Very nice puck. There's Corbett. Corbett got in, got a shot away, and Hillier had to make a save. Didn't look like he had a lot of room, but that puck was headed for that top corner, short side. Find a way to get it to the net. Kelly. Boone did a good job to get back and strip the puck away. Yeah, he's had himself a good half, half a shift there. Nice deflection and a nice poke check. And Corbett. He'll hold it. Nowhere to go. Puts it down in deep in Blizzard territory. Some power. And the impact get a line change in. Row to Mulrooney. Mulrooney up the right side, in over the blue line. Mulrooney stops up in the corner, plays it back at the point to Lambert. Lambert with a shot right on goal. Rebound is there. Diving out to make the save was Hillier. Came way out of his net, got nope. the right pad down. No, we have a goaltender change, George. Oh, nope, so it is. Thank you, Robert. What a beautiful, that beautiful is Sean pad Hogan. Save. What a save by Hogan. Loved the way he tracked the puck and got that pad across. That was an empty netter. Yeah, missed the goaltending change at the start. Noble with a shot, a lot of traffic in front. It that is, hit his own man. That's Tool, I believe, was cutting in front of the goal who got hit with that shot. Yeah, he hit him high too, George, I believe, and that's uh, going to be in some discomfort for sure. May have gotten it up and underneath his neck, I thought. It's going to land in Tool. It's going to tickle. But the goaltender, George, I was watching the play coming across. And it was an empty netter, but he kept tracking the puck, tracking the puck, stay patient, got that big pad there, prevented the empty netter. Mm 
trainer is out to check on Landon Tool. He may have been cut. Yeah, I actually think the puck went off of him and came up and got him up. On the, I don't think it was a direct, but it was so much traffic going in front. It was a quick release of a shot. It definitely caught him high in the neck, chin area. Definitely going to be a little woozy. He had a great game last night. And another good one today, Tool. But he's nice. a tough, strong player. Yeah, he's going to go to the going to go to the dressing room. Nice to see that he's walking out, skating off on his, his own accord. Went to the net. Always a good good move. Got the puck up high. Right, play resumes the face off outside the blue line. Sims didn't get it deep. Klein kept it in, but it'll be offside if the impact touches, so they clear the zone, tag up. Good read by Klein there to recognize a weak pass, step up. Brothers gets to center, can't get it in. Picked off by Sims. Sims chips it in. Adams racing after it, gets to it to negate the icing. Back behind the goal, Adams. Sims is out in front. Leaves it for Pinkson in the corner. Adam Pinkson, he's covered. McGuire's got it, comes out in front. It's poke wide by Sims. Pinkson with it. Back to Carter Baum. Baum with a shot, good hard wrist shot. Went over the top of the goal. And then it's taken away. Here's Tucker with a partial break. Tucker, backhand, save made by Din. Right out in front again. Din's got it and covers up as they get it to Vokey in front who had a chance. Yeah, Pinkson put his D-man in a real tough spot there. That puck needed to come back down the line of the boards or he needed to eat it. Nothing Klein could do about that. The puck never did get to him, but that's a tough one. Mitchell Din coming up big. Really big. That was in it. A, a, a big save at, you know, seven and a half minutes gone after the impact had just gone up by three again. Impact still can't get it out. Albert turned the wrong way. Wicks has got it. Yeah, Albert needed to go get the puck. Whoop. Off the skate of bags. And finally it's cleared out. Cody will clear it back in. Blizzard tag up. We'll give Boone a little bit of room to move it. Look for bags. Bags got a piece of it, so no icing. Marshall reverses it to Mitchell Moore. Kept in by Harnett. Doesn't get it deep. Blizzard will be able to move it out. Must have been touched on the bench. Yeah, not quite sure why the whistle. I guess that's what happened as it was played up along the Blizzard bench. Yep, I see the linesman pointing at the bench. That is indeed what happened. So now a discussion about where the face-off should be. Looks like it's going to come outside the blue line. Boone will shoot it into the far corner. Cody tied up along the boards. Marshall's got it back behind his own goal. Into the corner. Power. He's got Pinsent over him. Corbett. Corbett with a nice little play to get himself free. Pass was off the mark. But a nifty bit of stick handling. Very good. He is good in close quarters like that. There's no question about it. Again, they tag up on the delayed offside. Now they'll go into four check. Kelly with it. Kelly. That's picked off. Good stick by Jack Boone. He read that. That'll be an icing call against the Blizzard. The 11.08 to go. Third period. You can see right now, George, and particularly in that last shift, the impact now are going with a pass of 1-1-2, or excuse me, 1-2-2 four check. They're only having one guy inside of the blue line. They're bringing back their other two forwards, forcing the Blizzard to try to go a rink wide pass, and that's no good without speed. Carolyn leaves it in the corner for Noble. Outlet pass. Garland keeps on going. Rowe poke checked him down in the corner and the impact. Great poke check. Opportunity to move it out. It stays inside the blue line for now. Rowe back in his own end. Rowe up at center off the stick of Small. Garland 
Small got a stick on that, and then Party a little bit too quick to give it away. Didn't realize to, didn't expect to have the puck on his stick. He came no. to him very quickly. Nice reverse. Small. Got Party with him. Party heading for the goal. Small avoids the check. It's a good thing he did. Stays with it. Makes the pass to Lambert. When you're the size of Ryan Small, you learn to play this game with your head up. Oh, definitely. If not, your head will be down for a while. Here's Loveless with a break. Loveless, backhand, Din with another big save. Remarkable save. That's two breakaways he has stopped here in this third period. I think Loveless is actually going to him saying, good save, buddy. That's very similar to the one we saw in the first period, George, where he came out with the paddle, made the initial save. And the rebound went in secondary, but that one, there was another one. Loveless put a nice little move on. But Din, being a left-handed goaltender, got that paddle across and stopped it. Yeah, that save in the first period was as good as anything we've seen in a long time. Good as you'll see. I said the Blizzard then did score right after that, but doesn't take anything away from the save that was made. Under 10 minutes now here in the third. Klein back behind his goal. Pinkson, Adam Pinkson to center, dumps it in. Sims in on the forecheck. Pinkson in in support, but Brothers comes away with it. Swung it around to the far boards. Nobody over there for the Blizzard. Pinkson got there first. It's chipped in behind the goal. Sims looking forward. Good job here by this line of the impact to keep the puck down deep in the blizzard end. Now the blizzard get it out. Good outlet pass. Here's Vokey. Vokey with some speed. McGuire heading for the front of the goal. Blocker save made by Din. It's thrown through the crease. Goes into the far corner. Kelly. Fed it out. Nobody home as the blizzard were changing. Cody. Had it, he gave it up to Ryan Small. Here's Small, Small with a shot save made by Hogan. And Hogan keeps the play going. Small's had some great opportunities here in this third period, George. Tell him to move it, I don't know if it's possible. It's again stuck to the boards. Finally, referee blows the whistle. Just struck me a second ago on that last play by Ryan Small, who he reminds me of all the years we were doing senior hockey. Mike Sibley. Very similar, George. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, he would come off of the boards, come through, keep his head up. Similar stature. And as small as Mike Sibley was, um, you never really saw Mike get hit a whole lot, and he always had a good quick release, as Small does. And here's Small again. Very similar. He just avoid, you know, he's, he's nifty and shifty. Yep. Mitchell Moore across, poked away by Green. Dumped in by the Blizzard. Wicks trying to get in there first. Blizzard gonna have to find a way to open things up a little bit more, George. Three goals is no good. Again, along the boards, right below us. It's gonna be a cross-checking penalty here, I think for both teams, maybe. Yeah, we got another little pushing and shoving after the whistle. Fisher gives Small an extra shot. Waiter are going to get the very first penalty. They let him go a couple times with bags, and then yeah, bags is picking up the four for cross checking. Yeah, and the third time, referee Mills said, "Okay, enough is enough." Very good call, I thought. When scrums take place at this time of the game, George, and usually. The officials will let you go a couple, and then they'll say, okay. Well, I'm laughing, Robert. Down the other end, goaltender Hogan had the puck and was holding it up, saying, I've got it down here. I think everybody forgot where the puck was. He kept calling out to the officials, holding the puck up. I've got it. Finally, they, they get it, and we are underway. Big power play here for the Blizzard. Need to take advantage of this one. Yeah. As we're about seven and a half to go. This is where board battles are so important. Impact will take a battle like this. that will knock 30, 40 seconds and out. And they win the battle. Well, Rooney is, so he's going to go down the hole of puck. 
Yep, Mulroney will try and waste some time down there, but Blizzard come up with it. Hawkins. Loveless. Good pass. Marshall tried to feed it in front and sliding in to block that was Adam Pinsent. And he gets a hand from his teammates. And that George, I don't know if you realize, but that is a great play because oh, yeah. <laughs> the blue down the blizzard forward, the left winger down on the, the left side was totally wide open and the, the D-man was trying to get him to puck. That would have been a possible empty netter. That's a big play. Face-off win by the impact. He'll send it down the ice again. As if you think about it, the blizzard are going to be on the power play here for the next three and a half minutes. Actually, they only gave him two minutes, George. Yep, it was just a two-minute penalty. Oh, I thought it was a double minor. Okay, my apologies and my mistake. You're allowed one. Thank you. That's it now. Okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> laughing. I don't like that. Marshall into the middle. Marshall a shot again. Missed short side. McGuire's got to hustle over. Can't get there. Marshall's got a great shot, too. Now McGuire. Purdy got that and cleared it out. Purdy gets in positions a lot, George. He's a great defender, a real good. Garland with a shot, killer. save. Rebound, Pinkson clears it. One and done that time. Under 30 seconds to go. It's been a good penalty kill so far for the impact. Noble to Garland. Garland cuts inside to the blue line. A lot of traffic there, but they keep going. Kelly across. To Noble, to Garland. Garland with a shot. Pad save made by Din. Kelly, his shot. That didn't miss by a lot as it went over the top of the goal. There was room. Chipped out. Bound. Well, that's that's Bound. Carter Bound. Garland tried to knock him off the puck. Couldn't. It's That'll great. do it. Penalty's over. Great penalty kill by the impact. Great play by Bound here and protected the puck. Basically killed off the last 25 seconds. Just over five minutes left now in the third period. Wicks fanned on it. Plays it back at the point. McGuire coming off the bench. Jumps in. He fanned. Again gets a shot away. Din makes the save on the second attempt. Just under five here, George. If, the, if Blizzard don't score within the next two minutes, I mean, really, they're going to have to start thinking of pulling the goaltender with over three minutes left. 30, 25 shots on net. It's uh, last couple of uh, shifts. There's been a number of good, great scoring opportunities both sides. Out in St. John's, the Growlers leading two to nothing after the first period of play against the Tripan Osprey. Right now, faceoffs are in the favor of. Impact and anytime you can get face offs, even every 30 40 seconds to slow the pace of the game down, that's fine. It's hard to muster an attack when there's face offs all the time. Snapshot a save made by Din. Uh, referee lost sight of the puck, blew the whistle. Yeah, she lets the players know immediately. Harnett waved out. Corbett comes in to take the face off for the impact. One by the Blizzard. That shot was blocked up at the blue line. Harnett tried to cut inside, but Brothers stayed with him, took the puck away. McGuire to the middle to Hawkins and to Loveless. Loveless trying to get her on the outside of Rowe. Burges into the side of the goal. Din's got it covered up. Good closing speed there by Rose on the tough position, being a right handed shooter on the left hand side. Loveless was coming down with good speed. I like the way Loveless takes the puck to the net. Seen quick changes here quite often out for the Blizzard, George. Trying to find a, a good offensive opportunity here. King Noble. Sims off the glass, down into the Blizzard end. McGuire back to get it. Adams is on him right away. And again, they go to the boards. Puck comes out. Noble. To King. Noble heading for the front of the goal. Tried to get the return pass. Mulrooney well, had it hop over his stick and Din had to cover it up. 
I'm looking at the coaches on the on impact, George, and of course the Blizzard were able to defend that one down. Though they had two numbers down there, but impact had two forwards down inside of the goal line, George. That's fine. You have puck possession, but if you're fighting for it, you got to have a guy peel back on top of the circle for you. Sims. It's going to be Maybe amazing. a little bit too hard. Yep. He had a couple more feet to go. Well, Robert, we were talking Friday night about uh, Colby Burt playing with the Fredericton, Fredericton Red Wings. Yes. And uh, Cody Drover. Drover, thank you. <laughs> playing over in Switzerland. Scott one. I, I said Switzerland, didn't yeah, I? Scott I had a lot of trouble with that whole sentence there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we, we forgot to mention Zach Dean. Yes. With Botwood Roots. Oh. Just signed a... Entry-level contract with the yeah. Las Vegas Golden Knights. Three-way entry-level contract. It was great to see. And also named to the selection camp for the World Juniors coming up in a couple of weeks. Exactly. So uh, hopefully uh, another Newfoundlander in the World Juniors. Did you see the goal that Alex Newhook scored last night? I did, sir. Well, I saw the highlights of it. And uh, I actually was looking at Twitter and Terry Hart. I talked about, have you seen this goal? Oh, wow. It was McDavid-esque. Wow. He had no trouble getting that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of Cody Drover's last name. No trouble living or where down. He, or where he's or playing. Or always playing, yeah. Or anything like that. But, uh, yes, uh, Alex <laughs> Newhook had a, uh, another great, great goal. Uh, and I will say, knowing uh, his father quite well as I went to university with him, Sean, uh, he never did anything like that. <laughs> And Abby Newhook, his sister, named uh, oh. Rookie of the Month. She's had a fantastic start down to Boston College. Watched her in the uh, Canada Games a couple of years ago in Red Deer. She also possesses more skill than her father. <laughs> Making a tweet this afternoon from Sean. Yeah, I remember when Alex first got drafted, he said, yeah, yeah you, should, you should see my sister. She's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, I'm not even the strong one in the team, on the family. Whoop, almost a giveaway to Hawkins. And she's a great right-handed shooter from the long reach, and Alex is left. Great skaters, two of them. Well, right. Dan will cover that up. Sure Alex, no to. doubt, is going to have a good career. And, of course, hats off to Zach Dean as well. Sure that uh, a lot of people are uh, in his camp cheering for him as well. It's good to see and Dawson Mercer tearing it up down Dawson in Mercer, Jersey. Yeah. It's been a he's, he's gotten overlooked. Great year for Newfoundland hockey. Yeah. Timeout called by the Blizzard. And if you think about it, George, with uh, with Dawson Mercer in Jersey, and I mean he's you know, he's a top six forward for that team. And uh, you know, there's times that you you gotta really wait to get your opportunities. And if you think about it, the top six, seven forwards on the Colorado Avalanche are really skilled players. So for Alex Newhook to get in there and to be playing, it is a true testament of what type of an individual he is. And, of course, these these folks will only get better with time. Yeah, they're all just at the beginnings of their careers. Down to a minute 43. Three-goal lead for the impact. Wasn't a whole lot happening over the last minute or two, which is what the impact want when you're well, leading. Exactly. You don't want anything exciting. Well, you're going to look at the blizzard here now, and they're going to take the, their goaltender out. And hopefully, if you can get a quick one within 15, 20 seconds, you, you always have to have hope, and that's the thing. Crucial face-off right here now. Don't need to win it. You just don't need it to get loose. Like that. There's a face-off win. Marshall put it towards goal. That hit the post. The far post as it got under the leg of Din. The shot for the empty net goes wide. And it'll be an icing call. Minute 33 to go. George and I talked about it. You don't need to win the faceoff, but you've got to tie it up. It can't be loose. Blizzard won it easily. D to D and a wrist shot and off the post. It, you know, that was four seconds. Could have been a goal. Another faceoff win for the Blizzard. Down in the corner, they throw it out in front. Din forced to make a save. Puck is still loose. Hawkins to Tool. Nice to see him back out there. He went off for repairs earlier after getting 
Yeah, he's a, he's a tough kid. By a shot from his teammate. Marshall into the slot area. Somehow evaded everybody. Mulrooney. Well, one minute to go here in the third. Again, the net is empty for the Blizzard. Marshall quickly across to Hawkins. The tool, tool with a shot, glove save made by Dan. He'll hold on to it. Well, George, looks like the impact are going to come away with the much needed two wins. Uh, Blizzard are going to have to regroup now for next week. And of course, as you talked about at the outset of the of the webcast, it's an important two points for the the impact is even say that you got a ch chance to close the gap a little more. Well, if this whoa, right in front, how they miss that? Wow, wow, wow! That was a calamity of errors that didn't result in a goal. Heads up! Buck comes up into the stands down to our right, but <laughs> that one stayed. Mitchell in is he's laughing that he can laugh now because well, he was behind the net and there's nobody in front of the net and uh, except for two blue jerseys and it went between both sticks. Yeah, they both had a swing at it. By saying if uh, this score holds, as it looks like it will, it'll be another icing. If the Growlers win their game against Tripen, Tripen and Blizzard be tied six points ahead of the Impact, but the Impact have three games in hand on both those teams. So, and it gives you gives you confidence and hope. There's still belief. And next week, up next for the Impact will be the Pinnacle Growlers. We'll get a look at them next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That'll be a uh, that'll be a real test. Garland goes down, lowers the boom down there on uh, Maroney. Pinkson looking for the hat trick on the empty net, doesn't get it to go. It's reached the noon hour here, and yeah, lunchtime. And Kelly trying to bust his way through. That'll do it. Final buzzer. Final score: five-two for the Central Impact as the game ends right at 12. So exactly two hours to play this one. Another quick game. Last night was an hour 55. And now we've got some jawing. Oh, what yeah, happened? Let's get out of that. What happened is that Garland went down and lowered the boom from his defensive position. And now he's uh, doing a little chirping. That's not going to be any good for anybody. Yeah, coaches get the players separated as well. All right, everybody's Calm down. Well. I think everybody's hungry, George. And Matt Klein comes over and shakes hands with the officials and Mitchell Moore. Yeah, everybody is. Everybody is chilled out. <laughs> All right, we will finish this one off. Big weekend for the Impact. They take two out of three from the East Coast Blizzard. And See what happens next week as they take on the first place Pinnacle Growlers, as you say. That will be a, a real test to see it will. how they stack up. But they've been on a roll since the, uh, you know, since the Monctony, and uh, they had a, a good showing there, won two out of their three games against a couple of very good uh, prep teams in Nova Scotia, and then carry that into this weekend, take two out of three from the Blizzard. So see what happens. George, we're down to the Joe Byrne next weekend. Is that correct? That's the plan Please right now. Please speak to somebody down there. Make sure that we have the heat on up into the booth. <laughs> My fragile bones can't take them. <laughs> uh, we were talking earlier. Our toes are frozen here. Yeah, yeah. this may be uh, maybe our, our last trip to the Windsor Stadium. But and it's been uh, an enjoyable three uh, three games. I, I've really enjoyed Friday, Saturday, and today. Uh, it's nice to see uh, some fans getting back out here as well. It's always a uh, put a smile on your face early in the morning, and uh, it's lunchtime. Let's go. All right. We're going to. Step aside, we'll be back next Friday night with our next game, the Impact taking on the Pinnacle Growlers. Games Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So for Robert Golding and Jace Power, my name is George Scott. Folks, we'll see you again next week. Have a good one.
You're good. You're